The city of Fort Wayne recently received $1.7 million in federal funds from the CARES Act. Part of that money will go towards helping vulnerable populations throughout the area. Fox 55's Caleb Saylor is live in downtown Fort Wayne to explain more about how the money will be used. Caleb. Discussions between local nonprofits in the city began all the way back in March on how to help those who are homeless during the pandemic. Now, very these groups will on. be able to do more thanks to money being distributed by the city. Very early on, nonprofit groups like the United Way of Allen County, Bright Point, Blue Jacket, and Just Neighbors Interfaith identified those who are homeless or homing unstable as a group who could be hit hardest by the impacts of the pandemic. $60,000 is going to Just Neighbors Interfaith to help with temporary housing for homeless women. Another $60,000 will be offered to Bright Point. President Steve Hoffman says a majority of the calls they've received so far are to help those who live in hotels who aren't covered by the statewide eviction and foreclosure moratorium. Quite frankly, a lot of programs, um, state funding and so forth, kind of neglects um, and the, the statewide moratorium neglects as well. So people that are living in hotels right now are not covered by the moratorium. To help keep facilities for the homeless clean, $50,000 will go towards Blue Jacket to help hiring deep cleaning services for the shelters. The largest chunk of money in phase one is going to help the United Way. They, along with other organizations, help set up a quarantine shelter for the homeless. The $200,000 they'll be getting will go toward providing the homeless with medical attention with dignity. At the quarantine center here locally, um, an individual gets their own room. They get internet access, television. They also get all hygiene items, three meals a day, security. And as the states open back up, Hoffman believes the impacts of the quarantine will continue to be felt, which will require continued support. As long as funders have a uh, funders, donors, whoever have a desire to respond to the COVID crisis will we'll be there to, to get it to the people that need help. Plans on using the rest of the $1.7 million is unknown at this time. But a city representative tells me that they'll continue working with local programs on how to best use those dollars. Reporting live in Fort Wayne, Caleb Saylor, Fox 55 News. If you or someone you know needs assistance during this time, you're encouraged to call 211 to get connected to the services you need.